Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on with our SQLite series, and we're going to be learning about the SQL language unique constraint. So, all right, so what does what does that mean? Well, um, what that means is we're starting to use some tkinter and kiv and we're really going to tie this in with our kiv series but we were creating and logging in to to an application so when we create a id we need to be able to check the database and see if it exists or give feedback or an error and we'll see that or create a new password or just log in so this is what we're going to do now. So let's just go and get a our normal standard our standard setup. So we're going to import SQLite alias it is SQL, make our connection object with a new database, make our cursor. And we've done this before and we're not going to handle a different way to do this. We're just going to I know this is ugly. This is what you seen and understand, and they, these are what what we know. This is what we know how to do. We're going to start cleaning this up very very soon. So all right, now now let's use our so okay. So here's our table, and th this is how we set it up. So we've seen create a table. We've seen create an ID with a uh, oops. Primary, let me slide this over. All right, primary key. Now, the one thing that we have not seen, the constraint. This is called a constraint of unique. So we're saying that our user column, it's only going to allow unique variables. So it's going to actually monitor this for us. So if we have a duplicate, it's going to kick an error. So that's why we have this. So actually, let's get rid of this. All right. So let's let's bring this let's bring this in right now, and then to remind you of why we had that try. So let's pull up our little viewer and our file. Let's get into this. So here we are right here. There's our user. And then so we have our table. ID. Let's go back to the structure. There we are. ID, it's an integer, primary key, user, text, unique. Aha. So now to remind you, if we go, let's close this. If we try to run this again. It airs out. Now there's also some SQL language that we can do, but we don't know how to do that yet. So we're going to use our Python that we do. Pass. So if you haven't seen these other videos, make sure you go back and look at the SQL series, and uh, there's a whole playlist for that. Actually, I'll go ahead and put that up right up here. Okay. So now, now we're going to use a cursor object. And we're going to type in uh, execute one two one two three and insert into what do we call it username usernames. Then what are we entering user? Then password. Close that out. And values. So we're gonna we're just gonna use uh, oops, there we go. Uh, one more comma, there we go. And then Du, 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 du. 
oh, one, two, three, there we go. Come down here and let's let's call a variable so we can see this fail out and we'll go from there uh, first. And then we'll we'll do a list me at me.com and my pass. So you'll get to see this fail. We'll try this first. And then so this knows how to unpack for us. So there we go. And then con got commit and then con dot close. All right. So we solve this problem. Oops, if you make this a string. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's run this again. So there we are. We'll look at our user. So there we go. Boom. Let's close this. So now when I run this again, guess what? Ha ha ha. Very cool. So now unique constraint failed. Username user. So now try and Accept and print, please enter different, no, 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 sorry, user name already taken. All right, let's run this. Bam, solved my error, displays a message. This is how simple, so we don't have to, this is what is so awesome before us. We're standing on the shoulders of the Python community before us. So this is how we handle, we don't have to search the database. Oh, does this already exist? Boom, the SQL community took care of this simple problem or this complex problem with a simple constraint. This is why I love this. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, this, because I was trying to, I was trying to go in, I got to search the database and I got to search this column and then I got to do in it. And then I kept reading and I saw a message board and I saw unique. So I want to have this here for you to solve you to, to, to reduce any pain and complications. So we are just gonna start tying this into what we're building. So this is one of the most powerful constraints inside uh, the SQL language, structure query language for SQLite. So all right guys, as always, please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below and I'll get right to them. And as always guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us and we hope to see you next time. Bye guys.